For today's Driven In, we're behind the wheel of Sanderson Ford's F-150 Raptor Super Cab. Ford says, built with an engine made to go through hell, boasting 450 horsepower, 510 pounds of torque, and a military-grade aluminum alloy body, this rugged ride could take on the unforgiving Sonoran Desert with ease, which could come in handy with my outdoorsy passenger, D-backs closer Greg Holland. The three-time All-Star grew up in rural North Carolina and spent his days off the beaten path. My plan is to keep the Raptors 35-inch tires on the streets on our way to Chase Field. Hey, Greg. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, You're thank you. Ready to go to the ballpark? Let's do it. You're okay with me driving you in? Oh, yeah. Oh, and yeah. Ford Raptor? Yeah, sweet. Really nice yeah. ride. You're yeah. a truck guy, I imagine? Yeah, absolutely. So I'm looking forward. I've, I've never been in a Raptor before, so looking forward to it's it. It's really nice. I think you're going to love it. We'll get you down to the ballpark for the game. No worries. And whatever routine you like to do, we'll, we'll kind of accommodate that as well. All right, we need a coffee stop. Okay. And uh, I'm pretty easy after that, so. Okay, sounds good. All right, Greg, here we go. Let's do it. Greg, this is a beautiful neighborhood. Yeah, we, we lucked up finding this place. Um, ironically enough, we keep getting uh, Daniel Descalso's mail, so I, I'm assuming he was here last year. Oh, so uh, this was, he was renting this place? Must have been, yeah, okay. because we keep getting his mail. So I've got to get, good? Uh, get a, few, right? a few catalogs I've looked through, <laughs> um, but I haven't really opened any mail. Doesn't look that. like there's any checks in there for him, so. That is funny. I guess, you know, you were with the Royals for so many years, and then now it's been a couple different teams, so that's the life, right? You have to just kind of get your family settled in in different Yeah, spots. it's one of those things where um, it's the nature of the beast, so, you know, you're kind of used to bouncing around at this point, and... Um, is this where I'm going? Yeah, you're going right here. <laughs> Sorry, I could have helped you out a little bit it's on okay. that. But. I should know where I'm going. I'm driving the car. I don't want to scare you. It's going to be okay, I promise. No, we're all right. Well, right. you'll know where you're at as soon as we get to the gate here. You know, you get used to the moving, moving home for the winter, um, getting ready for spring training and stuff like that. So really enjoyed our time here in Arizona so far. We're used to spring training out here, but being out here long term um, for the entire year is nice. And it's actually one less move for us because we're out here for spring training. So you come into the ballpark usually by yourself, I take it? Yeah, yeah. I'm glad to be your chauffeur today. And so, coffee's on the list. We're gonna go Starbucks drive through today because of the convenience factor. Coffee is coffee. If I, yeah. if I get it in me, I'm not gonna complain about it, so. And what is your uh, what is your coffee of choice? Do you just go like straight black coffee or? When it's cold, I'm, I'm a black coffee guy, but um, this time of year, it's cold brew. But oh, yeah. I'm actually gonna change it up today because uh, Archie, and Robbie Ray have been on this uh, salted caramel cold foam kick, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try that. Wow, sounds sugary. Yeah, but they're they're assuring <laughs> me that it's not that sugary. Well, I know you and um, some of the bullpen guys. Fetters brings in like a Hawaiian blend. Chafin one time told me he drinks about. He, I made him count. He drinks like seven cups of coffee a day, which I think is kind of dangerous. I'm but. not I'm not on that level. But it almost becomes, when you're sitting down there in the bullpen, it's, you know, you have your own vices. Like some people will go through an entire bag of seeds because there's so much downtime where you're not actually playing in the game. But I, I kind of try to Stay ready down there, up. whatever it takes, right? To... Yeah, we keep it pretty lax. Uh, the first few innings, you know, you kind of read the game and, you know, it gets closer later in the game. And uh, depending on the, the pitch count and all the different scenarios, you kind of have that inner clock that goes off. And then everyone kind of goes into zombie mode. Yeah. Where, you know, you're joking one minute, and the next, the next thing you know, everyone's kind of just standing up and going and doing their own stretch routine to prepare for the game. I think I'm lost, Greg. Uh, hang with me here. I know the Starbucks is over there somewhere, but... Um... <laughs> oh, yeah, where is it? Feel free to use this content. I am lost in a parking lot. This is, yes, my typical life. <laughs> well, I'm not very good with directions either, so if we get lost... We What's... might have to make a phone call to get out of here. So what is Marion, North Carolina like? That's your place of birth, right? Yeah, it's uh, actually about 45 minutes from, from where I live now in Asheville, kind of at the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains. Um, you know, I love it there. Uh, but, you know, we grew up 
grew up hunting and fishing and, and playing baseball. You know, I enjoy it there. I, I try to sneak off as much as I can in the winter to uh, to go hunting and, and golfing and stuff down in Marion. The winters aren't terrible there, right? Typically. No, we get a few snows a year. Um, we'll get into the into the 90s in the summer, so we we have the, the full gamut. But we don't get the we don't get the extreme highs as you do here in Arizona, but we don't get the extreme cold cold as you do like in the in the northeast and the midwest but you know i like to say it's hot everywhere in the summer <laughs> i don't know of a place that, that is cool in the summer typically oh there it is okay. oh yeah we're gaining on it for sure <laughs> you're All seriously this gonna tell your teammates like i had the longest trip through a drive through with this woman who couldn't find the entrance yeah. all this in the name of caffeine you know i know right Today's DVACs Driven In continues with Sanderson Ford's F-150 Raptor. My passenger Greg Holland works late nights and has two young kids at home, so a pit stop for caffeine is part of the daily routine. So your son is four, or almost five, and your daughter is about two. So I don't know if she has a favorite like player connecting with baseball yet, but does your son, besides you, of course, does he have a favorite Diamondback yet? Um, It's kind of a toss-up. He. He's a big Gerard Dyson fan. Okay. But recently he found out that Christian Walker is a former Gamecock. Um, oh, yeah. My wife's side of the family, growing up just north of Columbia, South Carolina, they're all Gamecocks fans. So he try, he does his Christian Walker go Gamecocks before he steps in the box. And then he also does the now batting Gerard Dyson. So he... That's awesome. He is... Uh, it's probably, He's got the speed and the power yeah, there, kind of covers it all. If he can do what both of those guys do at one time, he's he's really going to be something. But he... Uh, Gerard's hit a couple homers yeah. this year, too. But. <laughs> it's it's kind of a coin flip for him, but he's starting to get to know the players, and and it's been a lot of fun. So we made it to the window here. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're going to have a... Can I get a venti salted... Cold, what, what am I trying to say? I don't know. Cold, 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 cold. Yes. Is that good? It's very popular. Should I, I have that. that? I have not had it, but it's very good. I'll have that, right. but I'll just do the smallest one. The, the grande. One? Yeah, the grande. Okay. Yeah. So I drink a decaf mocha. That's like a chocolate milk. What is this? Is this going to do something to me? And will I be like shaking and sweating? <laughs> I don't know. But, hey, this this is it's our okay. First, you know, this is my first. I don't have to pitch attitude. later. I just have to talk on television. <laughs> yeah, you might be talking a thousand miles an hour. Yeah, I, I'm I not sure. Do, so. The caffeine content. Now, how did you meet your wife? We met in college. Uh, she was a cheerleader at Western Carolina, and I was a baseball player. Started as friends. I mean, I, I knew I was interested in her long before she knew she was interested in me, I think. <laughs> um, but it was it was great, um, and it's been great. So trust me, you, you don't have... It's a new appreciation when you have kids and, and you're playing baseball and, and you have one day to watch them yourself and you realize my wife does this it's routinely exhausting, right? day in and day yeah. out. So I have a much easier job than she has. And I know that just from the short three or four hour stints where I'm with the kids by myself. I'm like, how do you do that for 10 days when I go on the road? <laughs> it's a lot to handle. And you've yeah. been through, you know, very the highest of highs and you're a three-time all-star and then you've also had you know surgery and yeah um, had some rough patches too like every player in, in the game of baseball yeah i think if you're fortunate to play for a long time um it's inevitable that you're going to go through rough patches and you need a support system i had surgery and, and missed an entire year that was rough on me you know my wife was there to have my back along with the rest of my family and then you know, last year I had a tough start and ended up on a new team and had to go through that transition as well. Goodness, look at this. This is not what I expected. Let's see what it's we It's interesting here. looking. <laughs> Thanks. It's like, okay, so all the cream is on the top and then the caramel's like in the middle and then the coffee. Yeah, it's definitely sweet, that's for sure. I don't know. Let's if, try something new. I don't know if healthy is <laughs> a term I would put on it, but. It tastes good, so. Yeah, we're venturing out a little. <laughs> so I might, good. if I get the shakes by the end of this ride, you'll know why. It's the sugar and the caffeine. Ooh, I, I can hold mine to... for now. No, no, you're good. Because now I have this in here, the Raptor. 
has lots of spots. That's what I was gonna say is a lot of a lot of you guys you don't eat or drink in your car. Well, drink I guess everybody drinks something in their car water, but I I flat out eat and stuff in my car. Not the good not a good thing, but it's nice uh, to not eat in the car. It's a good rule, but there's no. It's open season in my vehicle. My wife's vehicle is a different story. Really? Even though she's with the kids all the time? You think that would be okay? No offense, but because she's probably a very neat person, but you know, there's goldfish and rice puffs and. Maybe it's just me. She doesn't let eat. You know, because <laughs> she lets the two-year-old and the four-year-old. Yeah. But not you. Usually, if I'm eating in a car, I'm I'm starving and I'm in a hurry, so it's it's usually going to be pretty messy. I mean, sometimes you just have to do it. d -backs Driven In is presented by Sanderson Ford. The best play is at Sanderson Ford. open road <laughs> you're like thank god i'm actually gonna make it to the game on time free, is this freeway or interstate what do you call it i say freeway i feel like on the east coast when i was living in florida it was always interstate like interstate 95 or yeah. you know whatever is always but i feel like here it's freeway i don't know if there's any difference i just i i heard it called freeway i always use the term interstate so oh, geez. empty box empty box i didn't even run over it apparently the raptor is magic. You, you don't, I don't even know how you missed it. <laughs> you don't even feel it. That's the thing, Arizona. A little bit of debris on the on the uh, freeway. When I first got out here, I was in surprise with the the Royals, and they had just started the 303. Um, That's a pretty I, new one. I don't think it went south at all. It went north when I was out there, but I think now they've got it all the way down into. Um, was that Goodyear, Glendale area? I've been out there for exactly what you said, spring training, and then there's the wildlife zoo out there. That's where I proposed to Lacey. Where? Was out there. Um, oh, now that I started talking, I'm completely... At the zoo? No, I'm completely <laughs> blanking. I say. I'm completely blanking on the, um, what it's called. I gotta, I'm gonna have to look it up on you my phone. You can look it up, it's okay. So Arizona's a special place, the not White... only because you're a D-back, but yeah. for that moment. Why Tank Mountains? The, the, uh, oh, wow. Okay. The regional park there. I have never been there. Is that is it pretty? Yeah, it is. There's actually a waterfall there that, you know, in the springtime, it's it's actually a waterfall. I'm assuming right now it might be dried up, but talk about one of the most scared moments of my life was proposing. Immediately, Lacey starts crying, and it got to a point where I was like, so... Is that a yes or a no? Because <laughs> we still got to we huh? still got to walk out of here, uh, yeah. so it's going to be really awkward if if the answer is no, I'm good. So were you just nervous because of the moment, or you know, yeah. probably felt pretty sure she was going to say yes? Yeah, I think if you're not sure what what the uh, <laughs> your loved one is going to say, then you're probably not in the best of relationships to begin with. But you know, it's just a big step in your life. You go from being a kid playing baseball fresh out of college to like now you're an adult and you have a lot more responsibilities other than just yourself so I think that's where the nerves came in you know for me now you said you like fishing and hunting and that's I imagine more hunting in the winter right than the off season I don't know about the yeah. fish, fishing is more summer yeah I, yeah, I used to I used to fish quite a bit um I don't get to do it, obviously, nearly as much as I used to, because my what I do for a living is in the middle of summer. But yeah. I, I guess my biggest passion, other than baseball, would be would be hunting, obviously, and I love it. I'm hoping this year to get to go to uh, Archie's new outfit that he's got. He's going to do duck hunts and, and whitetail deer That's hunts. right, out of Oklahoma. Yeah. 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 So I think a few of us, I think myself, Chafin, maybe uh, Godly, and I think uh, Goldsmith as well. Um, nice. We're going to kind of go down Get there. Get the boys together. Yeah, it'll be, uh, it should be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that. Pretty good now that we're now that I'm going on it here a little bit. It's kind of mixing. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's not too sweet if you can get it. I will be up till 3 a.m. tonight now. But our D-backs driven in with Greg Holland features Sanderson Ford's F-150 Raptor, the perfect mix of high tech and tough, down to the last detail. Actually, 
Three Dirty South, or is this just one of the things you've got to find on the internet? Yeah, I, I don't know that, um, I'm not real sure where that came from, and I don't think there ever was a moment in time where it, was, where it really stuck. I know that none of my teammates Actually ever referred to me of, as Dirty South. Okay. Um, Sounds like a rapper a little bit. Yeah, I think it's just one of those things where I had a really trashy looking beard and I was <laughs> from North Carolina so it just it just went with that yeah I'll tell you something funny we were in the clubhouse in Pittsburgh and I've never seen all the guys more riveted to the television you were on MLB Network and they were just they were glued every word do you like doing that kind of stuff is that fun and then of course you you mentioned the fact that there were uh, that the breakfast was a little off and so the guys were all yelling, like, tell him, tell him what's going on. There so, were no eggs that day. Is I that would like to clear the air. Oh, you need to clear the air on the, that? We didn't have eggs, and we had a day game. Right. But as far as I know, it wasn't on the staff in Pittsburgh. Yeah. It was a complete oversight. So who is... <laughs> I don't know who I don't was make a culprit of I don't, anybody. Yeah, I don't want to but... point fingers, but I think it was an internal issue. Okay. Uh, Operator error, we'll, yeah. Well, yeah, okay. we'll, name, we'll blame it on Nick Ahmed or something. But I, I think it was someone <laughs> in the Diamondbacks organization. Okay. I mean, but, they yeah. were asking you about your slider and your career and all these really heartfelt things and how you're kind of an underdog, you know, because you're a little bit smaller in stature than some of the pitchers. It was really a great interview. And then... And then those guys just wanted to hear about the eggs, so it was yeah, really kind of funny. It's, um, <laughs> I tend to uh, try to avoid interviews and stuff. Well, this I, is the I, wrong show to be on because <laughs> I got you in the car. Yeah, uh, and I, we I may enjoy never them. Get there, but. I actually enjoy them when I actually, you know, like I said, get get in the car and start talking. When it comes to those type of things during the season, I just kind of I just kind of worry about playing baseball. Um, and talking about it sometimes can make me uncomfortable, especially talking about myself. Oh, we can see it. We're almost there. <laughs> Rick's Hitch Works. What did it say? Rick's Hitch Works. Oh, hitches? If you have any hitch problems, yeah. you go to Rick's. I guess you have a big trailer somewhere, huh? For all your stuff, or no? Like no, when I think of hunting and fishing. That's know. more my dad and brother's kind of game. Is that what it is? Yeah, I'm not real good with uh, backing trailers and stuff, so <laughs> yeah. I'm not very good at many things at all. L luckily, Just I can pitching. throw a baseball, yeah. <laughs> I make a left here? Why not? We can try. <laughs> it's the worst that can happen. Craig, you are so easygoing. I love it. Just like... You're not worried. You don't appear to be worried when I'm making these uh, questionable traffic well, decisions. Well, typically these side streets, no <laughs> one's going fast enough to really hit your head on. That's so. true. <laughs> okay, so Greg, we talked a little bit about music, but what's uh, tell me about your walk-up song, your walk-out song. I've dabbled with different songs in the past, and I kind of like all genres of music, uh, which you know I, I guess most people would assume. You know, I like country music, but I, I like country, I like You're rap. You're from North Carolina, yeah. so they're figuring country, right? I grew up on classic rock, so I like all different types of music. But Lay Low by Snoop Dogg is one of those songs where I just, I love the beat. I and, love it. Yeah, it's a great one. But I will I, say, I would have guessed, like, a country song or something. Yeah, yeah, so. but I don't know. It's just, uh, it's a type of, it's a type of song that kind of gets me, gets me going a little bit, but not overly hyped. It's awful when you pick a song and everyone's like, man, that is terrible, you know, because... <laughs> do they? Do you guys that, share that? Like, are they just like... Yeah. They, oh, yeah. Like you, that would dash someone's, Yeah, you, you know, can hear about it. If, you get a bad intro song, you're going to hear about it. Uh, have you had that happen to you? Did you have a bad one? You know, you? I've actually had a... I had one... Um, I went from Electric Feel by MGMT to... Lord, I don't even know the, the name of the song. Um, when I was <laughs> it in was Kansas so bad, City, you have no idea what it was. Yeah, Breaking Benjamins or something, and, it, and I personally didn't like it. Oh yeah, uh, well that's not. good. But I pitched well, so, so was I was so luck. I didn't yeah, yeah. so I, I didn't want to change it, but yeah. you know, luckily for me, I pitched bad enough last year in St. Louis where I I could uh, I could decide to change my walk up. You song, wanted to so. make the switch, <laughs> huh? Well, we made it. And we are here. This is probably your longest drive to Chase Field, though. 
Yeah. Unless you were coming from the White Tank Mountains, which yeah, we were not. <laughs> but that was fun. And did, oh, you've almost finished it your drink? Yeah, it gave me time to finish How an entire feeling? venti coffee. you feeling good? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Hi, I'm bringing Greg Holland to work today. Players Lot? Players yes. Lot. That's the right spot, right? Thank, Thank you. you. One of the beauties of being a short, stocky, unassuming person is you get checked no matter how many times you roll in this park, I'm going to get checked. <laughs> and I really appreciate it because... So you're saying that they don't, they're not sure you're a baseball player. Yeah. Is that what you're Yeah, and it, it's great. Um, <laughs> you know, I went to back-to-back -back World Series in Kansas City, and I would go through a grocery store, and people would have Royals gear on, um, you know, decked out to the nines, just loving how good the Kansas City Royals were playing. And no one ever, ever, ever noticed me. Um, and which, you're like, which don't is you my... know who I am? I'm World Series champion no, no, Greg Holland. It, it actually was great. I was like, no one knows or cares who I am. <laughs> I don't have to deal with anything other than getting my groceries. And that just kind of fits my personality. Yeah. Um, Under the radar. Well, Greg, thanks for letting me drive you in. I appreciate it. I hope you I enjoy the ride it. and uh, got your coffee and you're ready to go. Thanks so, a lot. I thanks, appreciate Greg. it. Thanks, Greg. You can find today's truck, the Ford F-150 Raptor Super Cab, and more than a thousand more vehicles at Sanderson Ford in Glendale, America's most awarded Ford dealership.